In this video, we're going to look at finding and evaluating second derivatives. The second derivative is the rate of change of the rate of change. In later units, we look at using the second derivative to determine the nature of stationary points, but for now, we're simply going to find and evaluate second derivatives. If we start off, we're asked now to find d2y by dx squared for each of the following. So this is the notation. dy dx is the first derivative, d2y by dx squared is the second. If we have the third, d3y by dx cubed, and so on and so forth. So let's start off now with the first one. In A, we've got y is equal to 3x to the power of 4 minus 5x squared plus 1. So we need a first now an expression for dy dx. So multiplying down by the power and dropping the power, we're going to have 12x cubed minus 10x, and then we're going to have plus 0. Again, the further you get into your work with derivatives, when we differentiate a constant, it gives us 0. Generally speaking, we would not write that. So all we're going to do is find the second derivative, d2y by dx squared. And we're going to multiply it down by the power 36x squared minus 10. So that gives us now the second derivative. If we were studying a further unit, what we would now do is take a value of x just here, substitute it in and find whether that would give us a maximum or minimum point if we found a stationary point. For now, we're just simply going to leave it like this and uh, write them out. OK, so let's do b. y is equal to... 3x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 4x to the power of 1 half. Again, we need to write the root x as the power of x to the half. We've seen that in plenty of the other videos. So dy by dx, multiplying down, we're going to have 9 over 2, and then we're going to have x to the power of 1 half, minus 2x to the power of negative 1 half. Second derivative, d2y by dx squared. That's going to now give us 9 over 4. We're going to have x to the negative 1 half. And then we're going to have plus 1. And we'll have x dropping by a power to a power of negative 3 over 2. So exactly the same. We're just taking this a step further to find the second derivative. If we look at the next one, all we're going to do is expand that out. y is equal to 5x cubed minus 15x. So if we want the first derivative, we could have dy by dx. So that's going to give us 15x squared minus 15. The second derivative, d2y by dx squared, is going to give us now 30x plus 0. So I'm just going to write it as 30x. So if we consider now the third derivative, that would give us a constant of just 30. OK, the next one, we need to just split this up. So y is equal to 2x cubed over x to the power of 1 half minus now 3 over x to the power of 1 half. So rewriting, this is going to give me now 2, then we're going to have x to the power. This is 6 over 2 minus now a half. That's going to give me 5 over 2. So rules of indices, if we're dividing x cubed by x to the half, we're going to subtract the powers, and that's 5 over 2. Minus 3x to the negative 1 half. So dy dx, the first derivative, that's going to give me 5, as 5 over 2 times by 2 is going to give us 5. Drop the power by 1, that will give me 3 over 2. Plus 3 over 2, x to the power of negative 3 over 2. All we're doing is dropping that by a power. That is the first derivative. Second derivative, d2y by dx squared. 15 over 2, x to the power of 1 half. Then we're going to get now minus 9 over 4, and then we're going to have x to the negative 5 over 2. So we can see now that is the second derivative. OK, let's move on and look at some more questions. We're asked to find, and this isn't quite clear, f double dashed of 2 for each of the following. So if we have y, then what we can say, y is equal to... Um, 
x to the n, we can have a dy dx is equal to now n, and then we can have x to the n minus 1. Now, we could differentiate this again. If we had now f of x, so f of x is equal to x to the n, we could say that f dashed of x is going to be equal to n x to the n minus 1. If we took this a stage further, we would get f double dashed. So let's just write a bracket. f double dashed. f double dashed is equivalent to d2y by dx squared. So all we're doing is looking at uh, the uh, Leibniz and Newton uh, or Newtonian notation. Um, f double dash, f triple dashed. We can have f triple dashed. Um, not sure why it's writing in lines. And in the same way here, we can have d3y by dx cubed. So all this is take, I mean, I'm not going to do each of these, um, but uh, you can essentially see what's going to happen with those. So what we need to do is find f, and that should look like this, f double dashed of 2. So what we need to do is differentiate f of x. So if f of x on the first one is going to give me 2x cubed minus 4x squared plus 3x, then the first derivative, f dashed of x, is going to be 6x squared minus 8x plus 3. f double dashed of x, the second derivative, is going to be 12, 12x minus 8. So all we need to do is substitute in now the, two, uh, the 4. Is it 4 or 2? What do they want to? So f double dashed of 2 is going to be 12 lots of 2 minus 8. And that's going to give me, what, 16? Uh, 24 minus 8 is going to give me 16. So that is evaluating now f double dash of 2. Okay, let's do the, the next one. We've got f of x is going to be equal now to uh, 4x to the 3 over 2. And then we're going to subtract from that 5x. So f double dashed of x, sorry, f single dashed of x, I should say, get ahead of myself, is going to be now on here. That's going to give us 6. So 6x to the power of 1 half minus 5. The second derivative, f double dashed of x, is going to be 3x to the power of minus 1 half and plus 0. So if you wanted, you could write this now as 3 over the root of x, if you wished. Remember, x to the minus half is 3 over root x. So this is going to give us 3 over the root of 2, which we could write as 3 root 2 over 2. All I've done here is rationalise the denominator from our section on thirds. So there we go, second derivative. For now, it's a bit, um, it's not really used for anything in particular in this unit other than taking the second derivative and evaluating. We will see in later units the use of this, but for now, we've just practised finding and evaluating the second derivative.